Hey guys, Bob Jones KD here. Gonna take you through one of my recent playthroughs of the new ground war mode on the new satellite map using this gun that I've made for long range defense called the Defender. It's based on the M4 LMG platform, basically maximizing range and trying to reduce ADS bullet spread. It does mean that the ADS time is quite significant, but you'll find that on larger maps, if you pre-aim, this isn't too much of an issue. So I normally advise to go for C first. This will ensure that you have a map advantage. And that the front line between the two sides is away from your home base. I really enjoy this map because it's reminiscent of some other titles like Battlefield or Battlefront. And I hope that they continue to add more maps in this game mode. So the reason I'm showing you guys this particular playthrough is that up until about halfway through, it seemed like we were in a losing battle. You can see the score just ticking away, not in our favor. Tried some different tactics going out into the sands. But you have to be really careful because there's so many guys out here with snipers. Sometimes you can use a vehicle like this to defend your position. But I'm quite new to this map so my general map awareness is not the best. I was really trying to encourage my teammates to push that middle C. But a lot of them were hanging back and a little bit too scared to push forward and sacrifice themselves to capture the objective. And yes, I was dying quite a fair bit. But it was all in the name of trying to get that W, trying to keep the pressure on the enemy team. So you can see some fantastic long range capability there. This gun is really good for covering shots. But the ADS does prevent you from being able to defend yourself properly in a close quarters environment. I do have a secondary shotgun for that purpose. But I'm just not really in the habit of switching as much as I should. I feel like it goes without saying, but I'm not a pro player by any means. Me and my friends just play this casually for a bit of fun. So if you disagree with my tactics or you think you have a better way to do these things, by all means, share it. We're always willing to learn, trying to improve our game. But again, we're not tryhards. We don't really care that much. It's just about having a good time. That's uh, that's what games are all about, or at least that's what they should be all about. I think a lot of people forget that sometimes. So now that we've finally captured B, we're gonna try and hook around the back of the map. Use the tank to take out a couple of people. and try and destroy that other tank before it can be used against us. And then I changed my mind and decided to just use it myself after I'd already shot that tank, so not the best board planning. But again, you can see here, I'm just using the tank to provide a bit of cover from the uh, E position because that is close to the enemy spawn. You can see a bad guy there. He was nicely taken out by a teammate. And my score streaks that I'm running at the moment are really just for fun. Um, I quite enjoy running the care package because it's a little bit of a Forrest Gump uh, box of chocolates kind of situation. You never know what you're going to get. This time we got a shield turret, which is not um, 
not the greatest so we just left that but sometimes you can be lucky and get a VTOL or a Goliath which can be useful depending on which map you're actually playing on This map reminds me a lot of Tatooine, so I think that could be why I'm getting Battlefront vibes. There's another care package. One tricky thing is trying to find a place just to throw the damn thing. And you can see now our team is starting to catch up in terms of the overall score. And we now have the majority of the objectives. But we still have a long way to go to catch up. There's me again issuing some commands, trying to rally our team. Sometimes all it takes is a little bit of a confidence boost. So here's me chasing down someone with my shorty, the uh, secondary shotgun there. So ideally if you're running this kind of weapon, you need to have a teammate with you, preferably a friend that you can talk to who has a mid-range or a close-range weapon to help cover you. But even soloing with a weapon like this is still possible. It's all about that pre-aim, which again, I'm still trying to master those sorts of techniques and be comfortable with that kind of gameplay. When you're playing Ground War, a key component is going to be map awareness. You need to keep an eye on what objectives are being taken where, where the enemy teams are, what positions you can take care of yourself or which ones you'll need backup for. You see there, it was a very poor decision to ADS. I should have just hit fired, but I got him back in the end. So one thing that you can do with an LMG that not a lot of people tend to do, at least from what I see, is just providing covering fire as well. Sometimes if you just shoot into an opening, you can prevent the enemies or cause them to delay before they rush you, which can help other teammates flank that position. And you can also stand back and defend if your teammates are rushing an objective. You can provide covering fire in that way too. So you can see now the scores are catching up. We're finally ahead with very little time to go. And just like that, we managed to clutch the victory away from the enemy team. And lo and behold, somehow I actually got MVP on this match. Again, it doesn't necessarily matter about your kill count if you're assisting the team with objectives, capturing command posts and defending them. That's where you're gonna get a lot of score in these kinds of modes. But overall, lots of fun. I really enjoy this kind of slower, more strategic kind of gameplay. It helps to break up the monotony of the multiplayer area. And it's also a little bit more fast paced than BR, which can be slow at times too. So really enjoy this ground war. And I'm hoping that they're gonna release more maps and we will be doing more footage of this. I'm gonna try and get Aeon the Destroyer and the Bro Balake to hop on and we'll try and smash it out as the Dolan Re. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.